hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Kautar and if this is your first time here you are absolutely welcome i do a lot of crochet tutorials and i particularly explain how you can work better with crochet diagrams like this crochet diagram that i have right in front of me i'm going to be showing you how to work this nice crochet stitch using this diagram so this diagram is basically going to be telling us what to do and how to work the stitch if you're not familiar with crochet diagrams crochet diagrams are just crochet patterns but in the form of a diagram that they are not written out it's just in form of a diagram so this is what is going to be guiding us in the making of this stitch and i apologize that this um diagram printed here might not be so clear but you can click the link in the description box below to download this diagram and work with it you can also print it out and i'm also going to leave a link to the written pattern in case you still prefer to work with a written pattern but without further ado let's get into this video make sure to click the subscribe button down below for more crochet tutorials and click on the bell icon so you're notified every single time i post a video i post videos twice every week so let's get into this diagram that i have here now the very first thing you want to do with a crochet diagram is to write out all the icons you can see in this diagram and then you write out what it means so the very first icon is this um circle this small oval shapes that we can see here at the beginning and i'm just going to write that here and this one represents chain so whenever you come to this icon whenever you see this icon in the diagram you're going to do a chain each one represents one chain right then the next one we can see is this capital letter t as we can see all over and i'm just writing that that one represents a double crochet and then lastly we can see these um, dots these big dots here and those ones represent um, slip stitches and I'm just writing that here so whenever you come to any of these icons you know what you're supposed to be doing that is the essence of writing out what everything means when you're working with a diagram so you're not wondering oh what do I do now that this what does this icon mean or something so now that I've written everything out the very next thing we're going to do is to start working and we're definitely going to start working with the chains so I want to do a chain but I don't know how many chains I'm going to do so I'm going to count the number of chains in this diagram so that I know how many chains I'm going to work now let's just count the number of chains this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 so there are 17 chains in the foundation row then we have two chains as turning chain right these two chains are the turning chains that's why they are climbing up your you can see that these two chains have become part of row one so this is our turning chain so all together we do 19 chains but 17 is the foundation chain and the last two chains stands for the turning chain that makes up part of the very first row so let me just do that now i have my yarn and my hook I'm to chain 19, 1, 2, 3, 4, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I have my 19 chains here, done with the 19 chains. Now the very next thing I'm going to do is, now we're done here, right, we finished, this is the 19th chain. Now the next thing we're going to do is you can see this dot here it's not very clear but there's a dot here I'm trying to move it up so you can see there is this dot here and that's a slip stitch so the next thing now is to slip stitch in one two three four so we slip stitch in the fourth chain from the hook let me do that so i'm going to be doing a slip stitch in the fourth chain from the hook this is the first chain from the hook this is the second chain from the hook the third and in the fourth chain from the hook i just turn to the back slightly and i do a slip stitch there and I go back to the diagram to see what I'm supposed to do next. I've just done this slip stitch in the fourth chain from the hook. Then I do a double crochet in the next. And then in the next, I do a slip stitch, double crochet in the next, slip stitch in the next. So I'm basically going to be alternating between double crochets and slip stitches in this row till I get to the end of the row. And I'm going to be finishing this row with a double crochet in the very last chain. So... I do a double crochet in the next because what I did before was a slip stitch and then I do a slip stitch in the next one here double crochet in the next slip stitch in the next and I'm basically going to continue this till I get to the end of this row 
and if you're not familiar with working with double crochet stitches check my the description box of this video and you're going to see a link to my double crochet tutorial so you can watch that one it's slower and more detailed Now I'm doing the last double crochet of this row and I'm doing that in the very last chain and that brings me to the end of my row 1. This is what my project, project looks like now. Now to go to row 2, I'm just picking up the diagram. I finished here with this double crochet. I'm moving on to row 2 now. I'm starting row 2 with a chain 1. Now a chain 1 and I do a slip stitch in the top of the double crochet which is the last stitch from the previous row and then I do a double crochet in the slip stitch slip stitch in the double crochet so we're going to be alternating here we're going to be putting slip stitches in the top of the double crochets from the previous row and we're putting double crochets in the slip stitches from the previous row and that's all we're going to be doing for our row two again we start with a chain one and then turn this is the first double crochet so i do a slip stitch there and in the very next stitch which is this one here i do a double crochet next double crochet which is this one i do a slip stitch double crochet in the next which is this very one here and i'm basically going to continue this till i get to the end of this row slip double crochet in the next slip stitch which is this one can be a bit hard to miss the slip stitches but you're just going into the very next stitch. This is a double crochet as you can see. So you're just going into this very next one here, just beside it. That's where you're going. That's the slip stitch. So that's where you'll be putting your double crochet. Then we slip stitch in the double crochet. Double crochet in the slip stitch. Slip stitch in the double crochet. So I've just done the last double crochet in the last slip stitch from the previous row and I go back to the diagram to see how I'm supposed to end. So I've done this double crochet here, this double crochet in the slip stitch from the previous row. So I'm ending this row with a slip stitch in the chain 2 from the beginning. This is a slip stitch, it's not so clear and I apologize. So this is a slip stitch I'm going to be doing in the top of the chain 2 at the beginning which is here. I'm just going to be putting the slip stitch there and that brings me to the end of row two and i'm really loving this texture like you can see it's not laying flat it's textured that is really looking good now to move on to row three i'm done with here so to start row three we do a chain two and we're doing the same thing at this point chain two slip stitch in the double crochets from the previous row and then do a double crochet in the slip stitches from the previous row so we're basically doing the same thing and this pattern is very repetitive so it's an so we chain two at the beginning of our row two chain two then in the double crochet we do the, the first this first chain two serves as the first double crochet for this slip stitch so we slip stitch in the next double crochet and then in the next slip stitch we do a double crochet there slip stitch in the double crochet double crochet in the slip stitch which is this one so a tip when working with this stitch is to not make your slip stitches too tight so it's easier to work into them when you're when you're in the next row i think my slip stitches i made them a bit too tight that's why it's a little bit hard to go into those so don't make your slip stitches too tight so that your hook can go in easily when you're in the next row so basically for this um, pattern you're just going to be doing slip stitches and sing and double crochets you double crochet in the slip stitch from the previous row and you slip stitch from the double crochet in the previous row the difference in the height of the stitches is what is giving this really nice texture because as you know the double crochet is a very tall stitch and the slip stitch is like the shortest almost has no height at all so i'm ending this row now with a double crochet and that brings me to the end of row three So now that I finished row three, 
Okay, I've just finished this row now. I'm going to move on to row four. But as you can see, this pattern is very, very repetitive. So this row four here is exactly the same thing with our row two. As you can see, it both starts with chain one, then you go to the slip stitches, and then you go to the double crochets. You can see that it's exactly the same thing with row two. So from here on, we can just say, it's safe to say, repeat rows two and three till you get to the length that you want. And I'm just going to do one more row with you, but then just know that it's the same thing with what we've been doing since. So now for this row, I'm repeating row two, chain one, slip stitch in the double crochet, double crochet in the slip stitch, slip stitch in the double crochet. I think this is a very easy stitch pattern. So let me just do that last row with you. Chain one, then turn. This is a double crochet here, so we slip stitch in there. Then in the slip stitch here, we do a double crochet. Then you slip stitch in the double crochet, double crochet in the slip stitch. Slip stitch in the double crochet, double crochet in the slip stitch. Slip stitch in the double crochet. This is a very, very easy stitch that can be used for a lot of things. I think because somebody had somebody requested for a male sweater tutorial, so I think I'm going to be using this stitch to make that sweater. So you want to familiarize yourself with this stitch before that sweater tutorial comes out. But just stay tuned for it because I'm going to be working on it and it's going to be coming out very, very, very soon. So I'm doing a double crochet in the slip stitch from the beginning and then we're going to be ending this row with a slip stitch in the chain 2 that we did at the beginning which is here. Slip stitch and that brings me to the end of row 4. Again, so just keep repeating rows two and three to get to the length that you want and what we can see is that you're going to be ending with what you start with if you start with a double crochet sorry if you start with a chain two which represents a double crochet you'll be ending the row with a double crochet and if you start with a slip stitch you'll be ending the row as well with a slip stitch and i hope that you find this tutorial helpful if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below in the comments and i'm definitely going to answer your questions don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video bye